Hello everybody, uh, we got today a CN Matrix uh, switch from Cambium Networks. I have a, a terminal screen up on the window here, so I wanted to oh, just give a quick little overview of the, the command line and uh, what to expect. Uh, we're going to start out, uh, I'm, I'm already in this switch, uh, but we're, we're actually going to start out and we're going to reboot the switch here so you guys can kind of see the the boot up sequence and you know get a little behind the scenes of, of what's going on with these folks uh, i did a blog article on a quick little uh excuse me a quick little uh overview of the switch uh, not really an unboxing video but a little little quick overview of how it looked and things like that uh, what i have today is uh, one of the ex 2010s it's an eight port uh, copper switch with uh, with a couple uh, SFP slots. Um, got a console port that I'm, I'm plugged into, uh, USB and a management port. Uh, so as you can see, a pretty pretty fast boot up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and log in. It's the uh, admin admin. And if we do a show running config, very, very Cisco-like, um, which I personally like myself. Uh, so we can kind of look at uh, what's going on here. Um, just going to go through the, the basic config that came on it. If we do a, a question mark, that can help us with uh, a lot of the, the commands. And then it, um, it does have the con context sensitive help. So if you don't know something, you can kind of do the question mark at the end. So if we do config terminal, just kind of like Cisco, um, we can we can see a lot of our, our different commands. So say we want to add a VLAN uh, to something. So we're gonna we're gonna interface gigabit. Uh, we'll we'll do the first first port gigabit zero one. Um, we can do switchboard access VLAN. You know, let's do twelve. Uh, so just just like uh, very Cisco like uh, we did not have an access VLAN of 12 so we created it created the VLAN for us um, if we do a show VLAN we can see see our different VLANs so here's our here's our VLAN 12 so we we can do copy running to start up config just you know again very cisco like which i i personally really like um i'm a i'm a cisco guy from the start so um some of the like the hp switches and and some of those where you don't have the concept of an access port versus a trunk port it's just a you know passes multi vlans or or whatever i'm, I'm not a big fan of that i kind of muddled my way through it it's it's not a not a deal breaker but it's just something i'm comfortable with so no no real reason i like that just just mainly my my preference um you know we can we can see quite a bit of of stuff on here um you know we can do show logging uh i believe we can just do show log nope um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to do a, a quick run here of, of what's going on. Uh, just kind of show you guys what's, uh, what's going on with these switches. We're, we're at about oh, four minutes or so. Uh, look for some more in-depth, uh, articles on some configuration and, uh, some use cases and things like that. Uh, put in the comments what uh, different things you'd like to see on these switches. Uh, I want to do some tutorials. Uh, we're going to start out with um, just kind of what I did here, uh, but do a deeper dive into things like VLANs and trunk ports, um, some things like that, uh, some, some basic config stuff, setting passwords and that sort of thing. So uh, please let me know what you, what you want to see and we can, we can kind of go from there. Uh, this will be posted on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, go visit the blog at mtin.net slash blog. Uh, and thanks for listening.